What's up guys, Nick from Stack and Sell coming back to you guys with a brand new YouTube video. Today, we're at the Northern Illinois Card Show. It's up here in Rockford, at the northern part of Illinois. Let's see what we're gonna get today. Hopefully we can make some deals, some trades, sell some cards. Let's get in there. Last I looked, it was around 60, 70, but I haven't looked at that one in a while. Yeah. Oh, trust me. I, I got this raw, and I'm thinking about it. Sunny Yeah. How's it going? This one or this one? That one was bouncing between 65 and 50. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just saw this one comp at. 37 plus shipping, so I'm gonna put it like, I don't know if you still want to move it. Cash on top. So I said add 25 on for just this. They're saying 40 for trade. I don't know where that comes into. Well, so I said 40 for trade or 25 cash. Okay. Just adding on top of this. Yeah. Deal done here with Shy Town Sports Connection. We got some different stuff in that he traded into me so a little bit of cash he's taken the hertz out of 99 and the levine courtside pop 41 appreciate it thank you, thank you. So this is some of the more expensive stuff that we got here in the showcase today new stuff wise it's like picked up this shea last night at trade night you gotta always keep a lamello in the case it's always going to be people after those New Jalen Hurts in out of 25. A Mook. 95. Got some more lower end basketball down here. Let's see what else we got in here. Y'all saw me pick this up last week. These two gems. This one's jersey number. Love to see it. We got a whole bunch of different other stuff. Just picked up some Bowman Chrome autos. These are always going to do well. People are always looking for first Bowman, so lots of new stuff. Got the boxes down there as well. So, right, right. Okay. So, what would you be on at the lot? Um, I just, I, it would just not be enough for me. I, mean, uh, I would probably be at like 40, me personally, um, just because I'm not sure on that. And then these, just a little hard to move because there's so many. Yeah. Alright, so we just did a deal with that guy. He got some stuff out of my dollar bin. Joe Burrow, club level silver. And we got the Rondell Moore out of 75, and then just two debuts. Small little lot. That's what you gotta do. Main ones were this one. This one. That one's like a $25, $30 card. This one's the refractor. Yeah. From what I've seen, like when I've gone to LA and like some trade shows there, it's like the the demographic feels like it's it's like we've got like the older generation in here too that is yeah they're buying and selling, but they're firm on their prices. They don't want they don't want to move, and they won't take in like stuff like I don't know just normal stuff like this they want exactly what they want and if they don't get that they're not really into it the flipping mentality it's like yeah i'll take that if i can make money on it i'm not really concerned with who the player is as long as i'm going to be able to make money on it that's all i really care about yeah it's definitely definitely more of like an emotional attachment 
Uh, yeah, I think I think it's just like, a different culture. Yeah, yeah. And then you end up meeting people, and it feels like it grows in ways that you Yeah, so, like it leads in different directions, connections-wise. Even like the people that you meet, like you don't know who, who's going to connect you with. That's why, like, you go to like these internet, like these shows worldwide, like Dallas. I don't know who I'm going to meet in Dallas that can connect me with someone in Atlanta or New York or anywhere else. They're from all across the country, and they can connect you with any other direct act. So. I, I like the idea of just hitting up as many shows as possible, getting your name, getting your face out there. Because if people remember your face, remember your name, you do good deals. If you, if you leave deals. enough room for people and you don't just full comp, above comp, everything, if, if you're leaving at 20, 10% for someone to make their money on it, or you're making money too, people are coming back. Right? Okay, so where, where did you say you were going to go on this? So the last one I saw in there was 160. 160, yeah, that's the same one that I'm seeing December 8th. Okay. Yeah, so and you're looking at the Kyrie. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It looks like the Kyrie's pretty close. There were some a little lower, some a little higher. And yeah. I didn't even look at this one. I don't know what it is. I that just, one, like, you're, you're not like going to find. Kata. You're not going to find any comps. On. I'm literally the only one on eBay, even with the gold in yeah. particular up. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't even look um, at this is where I'd be at. I'd be at this plus 100 cash. Do you like, kind of meet maybe a little bit like 90 or 95? A little bit lower? Or do you think? I could come down to 95 cash, but that'd probably just be where I'd want to be. I got you. Yeah, we'll do that. That's Sounds good. good. Thanks. Appreciate it. Awesome. We just got a trade done here with. Steve gave us this Jonathan Taylor out of 50 auto. He picked up the Kyrie Irving and the Yohan Mankata. Thanks for the deal, Steve. Thanks, bud. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Would you rather do this plus cash or like uh, this plus I cash? I'm fine with either. I mean, if you want to take three, if you got more cards, I'll look at more cards. Yeah, I do. I'm not sure if there's anything you'd be interested in, but I got, I got some. That's all the pickups I made today. I won't look at your pickups again. Yeah. Oh. I was about to say, so I'd probably be a little more I had an I get it. You gotta make money on new stuff too. That's a look at that insert. That's sweet. Treat, what is that, a treat, Lumberjacks? Yeah. That's uh, sweet. It's, uh, it's from Leather and Lumber. That's cool. I bring that to every show, nobody ever likes it. I, I think it's just cool at least though. Uh, uh, this is gonna be a remembering thing. Just nothing I could see any profile. What is this? Uh, that does about 50. 45 to 50. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Most of it all let go pretty cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Is the Chabuski pretty cheap? Relatively. Okay. That's my guy for next year. I know a lot of people are sleeping on him, but Mitch is going to get a job. Everything in here. Okay. Uh, these do like 25, I'll do like 15. Okay. And then. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to keep this one just because. I kind of want to keep like one center guard. Okay. But I had a whole bunch. Just keep one. Yeah, I got you. You got a price on the stack? Grand. The grand? Okay. Um, Is the big hitter this? Yeah, okay. 400. He's got like no rookies. He's got no, yeah. Who's that? Brett, Fred Van Vliet. And he's he's really big locally here too. So. Yeah, yeah, he's from Rockford. And the Robinson is a one, the, one. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, it's five out of five. That's 500. Yeah. Okay. What do you have on the Levine? 50. 50. Okay. Caruso? 100. 100. Not another one that you don't find at all. Okay. All right. I'm going to pass, but I appreciate it. Thank no you. Problem.
gonna keep it. Okay. Like, they do. They do like ten grand. Okay. Um, and and I think I bought it for a little bit more than that, so I'm probably gonna leave it at that. Okay. So what were you thinking? What into this one or I'll tell I'll still take this. Yeah, yeah. So what what would you be at like these two together just like value wise and you trade? Um I would wanna be at these and sixty four for that one. Just because I know this one, yeah. it's going to be easy to move. These, I'm going to have to sit on. Mm -hmm. Just got another deal done here with Austin. Appreciate the deal, man. He gave us a little bit of Tua, some Syndergaard. The next, Tom Brady, a.k.a. Mitchell Trubisky. Mookie Betts, and what did you get in return, man? And I got a little cash, but... Adrigal, Cronenworth, Vizcaino, Hancock, Ro DeRozan, Fernandez, JT, and D -hop. D -hop. Sweet. Appreciate the deal, man. Thank you. Sweet. But these could be pulled in America, though, right? Are these only overseas exclusives? Mainly in Europe. Okay. Because uh, I know the stickers so, yeah, things is big over there. Yeah, in Europe it's really popular. Luca. South of Illinois, maybe. You retired. Yeah. Okay. Ali. I heard that name. You do 30 on it? Picking up some soccer that I don't even know about. But. <laughs> I think less has been like around 25, the regulars around like 12, 10, so. Yeah, it's in my name. 35 for both? That works, man. Nah. I think somewhere I got a one refractor too, but it's From not graded. Yeah, it's not graded. It's just a lot. Sorry for the video ending so abruptly. Our camera unfortunately did die mid show. We got a lot of great content though that you guys saw in this video. There's another video going to be coming out about all of the talks that we had with a local car shop owner, getting his perspective on the Fanatics update and all the other things happening in the hobby. I think you guys are going to really enjoy that video. If you guys can, please leave a like, subscribe, go watch any of our other car shop show vlogs if you want to see anything like this. The recap video will be out tomorrow, so come back for that. I'll see you guys next week.